all those pixels. Ow! <laughs> Good God, that didn't come out right. That sounded like I was a bad Prince impersonator. Well, as I stated in a previous video, I would do some 4K stuff because I figure, hell, why not since I have a 4K monitor. Please note that at the current point in time, I was using the in-house frame counter from Steam, so that'll be in the upper left-hand corner. And on occasion, I'll probably use something like Rivia Tuner to give a frame counter. I might just go back to using uh, Afterburner because it seems to give a way better performance delta or explains it better than just this. Overall, I found a 4K to be quite interesting. The simple fact that my overall nature tells me to push everything to the max, but at 4K, it's not always possible, especially on one 980 Ti. In all honesty though, the 980 Ti holds up a hell of a lot better than I ever assumed it would at 4K. This is astounding, really, to me, because it's an older card now that the 10 series is out, and the 10 series has moved leaps and bounds ahead. It's a pretty big generational leap as far as performance, but the 980 Ti is still nothing to scoff at. I found out I was fully capable of using Tomb Raider at high settings with a few compromises. You know, Shadow Bloom and God Rays have to be set to normal. The overall texture detail in the background images such as rocks and so on would have to be compromised as well at medium settings. I found with this I was able to run the gamut of actually enjoying the game's frames at around 45 fps or more usually as dancing at 50 but we'll just say 45 to 47 for now with minimal problems and or lag or screen tearing by the way i found this to be the most acceptable i could because frankly you know gaming at 30 fps although it isn't bad and i've done it many times before and still do to this day on massive mmorpgs it's hard to give up that 60 FPS, but the trade-off is, even with some settings dumbed down, it was still a very enjoyable experience and actually quite beautiful. I, I noticed things in Tomb Raider that I did not see before at 1080p. At first, I thought the hype for 4K was all bullshit, but the more time I spend messing around with gaming in 4K, the more I am I'm just kind of blown away. I, I would actually recommend 4K to people. I can't wait till 4K passes that 60 FPS threshold. With uh, DisplayPort 1.3 coming, PCI Express 4.0 is on the way, and you know people are sitting there and saying, like, what's it really going to do? Well, it does move twice the bandwidth. Also, on the motherboard, PCI Express 4.0 supports up to 300 watts off the motherboard. Imagine, you could run a Titan XP on your motherboard and not plug it in. Like, it would just run off of the juice in the motherboard. That would just make the computer so much sleeker, so much more beautiful, so on and so forth. But that's not the point of this video. This video is about 4K. So, I maybe I'll throw in little snippets of things here and there. Oh, shit. What the hell was that? Survey team, this is Overwatch. Please respond. Survey team, please respond. We got some interference on that left. is a very interesting game in the sense of it is so well optimized better than i ever imagined it could or would be that you could game in 4k with a single 980 ti and 
get a very, very solid experience. Now, with the Samsung 4K monitor that I'm using, and the name escapes me right now, it's like UHD something or other, right? U28E590D, which is the current one I'm using, I found that playing with V-Sync on left the game very choppy and it actually took away frames, which is ridiculous. Now, if you take V-Sync totally off on Doom with this 4K monitor, you would find a lot of screen tearing, which is very immersion breaking. It's hard to deal with. The best medium is adaptive V-Sync for Doom. You put that on, you can play Doom on ultra settings, you'll play at 60 on occasion, but it's really gonna dance between 49 to 55 up to 60. It's very sporadic. I couldn't get a very good performance metric because let's face it, I'm not a pro, I don't have the tools. So most of the time I'm eyeballing after multiple tests, hours of gaming, and then watching the video again, looking at the frame counter that you will find in this case on the upper right hand corner if you've missed it to give you an honest to god solid opinion or state of how the game actually plays at ultra and 4k and surprisingly this is one of the few games i can play with ultra settings and not have to sacrifice too many frames it's quite amazing the lowest dips i saw was around 39 fps could have been lower i don't know i didn't feel like sitting through all the video forever but you know what enough of me talking watch the video and judge for yourself because my voice sucks Well, to end it all, I figured GTA 5 in 4K, straight vanilla. Uh, you get lower frames through the benchmarking, but I found while playing the game at a mix, I think, of high settings and ultra, I was fully capable of getting around 40 FPS to 50 in game, which is not bad at all. I'm impressive for what Rockstar has done here. So I'm going to leave it at that. You know, just let the whole thing fade off. Thank you for checking out my video. I will only get better with time, like aging wine. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And Twitter, Twitch, all that other stuff. Follow me, worship me. I am the Rat King.